There's a reason why Red Dead Redemption 2 was the 8th best selling game of all time, having sold over 50 million copies. Simply put, it was near perfect. The story was gripping, the combat was immersive, and the open world format was one of the best we've ever seen. Even the online mode was pretty good. Well, recent leaks have suggested that at some point in the future, Rockstar will be trying to replicate its successes with a new installment in the Red Dead Redemption franchise. In this video, I'll break down all of these leaks and I'll tell you everything that you need to know about Red Dead Redemption 3. Before we get into this video, let's just take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Instant Gaming. Now, Instant Gaming isn't like every other business out there because they want you to save money rather than spend it. Instant Gaming basically offers the flagship games that you want for a fraction of the price. It's literally a dream come true from gamers like you and me. They also offer pretty cheap top-up cards, which is an added bonus. So, if you want to get your hands on flagship games for half the price, or even less, make sure to head to the link in the bio of this video. And hey, there's no need to thank me. So, I guess the most important piece of information here is that there will actually be a Red Dead 3. This is all circled around a few leaks that have surfaced over the last few months, where Rockstar said that Red Dead 2 was a massive success, and as long as the franchise is successful, they'll keep making new games. And it's safe to say that Red Dead 2 fits that criteria, being a financial success. In just three days, this one game took $725 million worth of sales, and to date has made Rockstar over $1.3 billion. That's an unfathomable amount of money. Rockstar has also shown that they'll keep a franchise going for decades, so long as it's profitable. I mean, just look at Grand Theft Auto. This one franchise is now on its sixth installment, and has been making Rockstar billions of dollars for the past 26 years. All this means is that it's pretty safe to say that Rockstar will eventually be working on a Red Dead 3. I mean, they may even be in the stages of pre-planning. One source by the name of My Time to Shine Hello has even suggested that Red Dead 3 is already quote-unquote in the works. However, let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. There are a few roadblocks standing in the way of a Red Dead 3 release, which suggests that we're not going to be seeing this game come out anytime soon. First of all, let's not forget that Red Dead 2 was in development for over 8 years, and it wasn't until there were a few years into production that we heard anything about the game. And let's take a look at Rockstar's other baby, GTA. GTA 5 was released in 2013, and fans have been speculating about GTA 6 since 2014. Fast forward to today, and we've practically been waiting about 10 years for GTA 6, and we haven't even seen the first revealed trailer. Sure, we know the game is in development, but other than that, we're kind of completely in the dark. Some are speculating a 2025 release date, but that's all it is, speculation. There have also been rumors that Rockstar is currently developing a medieval fantasy title alongside GTA 6. This has been given the codename Medieval Project, and if true, will push the release date of Red Dead 3 back even further. I mean, some people are suggesting that Red Dead 3 won't come out until 2030 at the earliest. Now, I'm calling BS on this because how on earth are people already predicting the release date for a game that hasn't even been announced yet, from a company who are notoriously bad at sticking to their schedule? So, with all this information surrounding the potential for a third installment in the Red Dead Redemption franchise, it's pretty interesting to think about what the story could entail. One avenue that I would love to see Red Dead 3 take is to follow the story of Arthur and John before the events of Red Dead 2. Throughout the story in Red Dead 2, we hear so much about the history of the Vanderlyn game, but we never actually got to see any of it play out. How awesome would it be to see the events that led John and Arthur to the situation they find themselves in in Red Dead 2? It could start way back and the story could end at the Blackwater Massacre. Plus, Red Dead 2 is a prequel to Red Dead 1, so making Red Dead 3 a prequel to Red Dead 2 would make for this insane story in reverse that virtually no other video game franchise has done before. Other players think that Red Dead 3 should make Jack Marston the main protagonist, with the story focusing on what he goes on to do after the events of Red Dead Redemption 1. He's the last living outlaw and eventually gets recruited for World War 1, which could make for a very interesting change of pace and setting. Rockstar could also explore someone like Landon Ricketts. In Red Dead Redemption, we find out that Landon was one of the only survivors of the Blackwater Massacre. By making him the protagonist, players could experience this key event in the Red Dead timeline in loads of detail, as well as the surrounding events that led up to the massacre. By putting someone like Ricketts in the driver's seat, 
Rockstar also wouldn't run the risk of making the story feel repetitive by relying on John, Arthur, and Dutch again. They can even explore making someone like Charles Smith the protagonist. Charles was one of the only surviving members of the Vanderlyn gang, choosing to leave the gang at the end of Chapter 6. He then reappears in the epilogue where he tells John that he's become a street fighter. But he was never mentioned in the events of Red Dead 1, so Red Dead 3 could help fill in these holes in the story. We could see what happened after he left, why he became a street fighter, and so much more. Having Charles Smith as the protagonist would also open up a door for a Canadian setting, as this is where Smith decided to head after the events of Red Dead 2. On the other hand, some people are keen on the idea of following the story of a brand new gang in a different setting. While it could be fun to explore this route, I do think that this would be a bit of a shame. The story of Red Dead 2 was a masterpiece, and to let it go entirely would be a huge waste. Rockstar could give us so much more about all the characters that we're already invested in, and in my opinion, would make for a much more immersive story. Plus, Red Dead 1 and 2 are already linked, so why go rogue with the trilogy? All in all, it's super exciting to think about the future of Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead 2 was nothing short of a masterpiece and is objectively one of the best games ever released. However, there are some concerns that we've got to talk about. Primarily, Red Dead Redemption 2 was always in the shadow of its big brother, GTA 5. I mean, sure, Red Dead 2 did make Rockstar a lot of money, but compared to GTA's 5 $7.7 .7 billion in revenue, the argument on which game was more successful isn't even close. And because of this, Red Dead 2 kind of got neglected by Rockstar. And yeah, you can understand why, but still, it did really suck. All we really wanted was a single player DLC, and when we didn't get one, it was understandable because GTA didn't get one either. However, there's simply no excuse for how poor Rockstar was with Red Dead Online. 99% of the updates were god-awful, and most players only really enjoyed the Frontier Pursuits update that came out in 2019. Still, this was pretty small, and it didn't add very much content at all. Meanwhile, GTA 5 has received update after update after update. We've been treated to the Diamond Casino and Resort, the Doomsday Heist, and the Biker Update just to name a few. Every single one of these updates added loads of content to GTA Online and fixed annoying bugs along the way. Fast forward to 2022 and Rockstar straight up gave up with Red Dead Online. The company just decided to burden the Red Dead Online ship completely to the ground and allocate all resources to GTA 6. Red Dead Online literally never got a chance to be as good as GTA Online because Rockstar had given up on it before it even got going. So should Red Dead 3 ever be released, it's probably going to be the same story with the online mode. GTA 6 Online will obviously be so much more popular than Red Dead Online. So naturally, the company is going to allocate more resources to the bigger money cow, and the cycle will continue with Red Dead constantly being outdone by his more successful brother, despite it having an arguably better story. So that's everything that we know about Red Dead Redemption 3. Ultimately, this game is years away, and everything right now is just pure speculation. Still, with just how good Red Dead 2 was, it's pretty exciting to think about. So what do you guys think about Red Dead 3? Is this even going to be a thing? And if Rockstar does eventually get around to it, could it ever top the successes of Red Dead 2? And who would you want to see as the protagonist of Red Dead 3?